Okay, this is what I've received now. And I'm going to open it. By the way, if you're asking what is this, this is a boyfriend of the President of the United States of America. They are very friends together. He called him a great leader. So whatever happens next, remember this guy was called by the biggest democracy in the world as a great leader. So I hope the next day they will not change their mind uh, and twisting all the propaganda media send him the bulletin oh call him a dictator okay remember he was a great leader for president of the united states and everybody followed on that surprisingly in britain also okay doc let's see What is this? Looks like a pillow. Let me open it. Japanese pillow. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. Oh, another. What we have here is a Canon lens. This is a zoom lens, 75 to 300 millimeter. I wanted to use it for taking pictures of the, the wide angle pictures of the sky um, without using the telescope. So hopefully this will be make it possible. And this is the lens. I must say that it easily gets fucked. Uh, the fog forms on the lens in here and back. I think I read somewhere also that somebody told this easily gets fucked. And uh, probably I have to use a um, lens cap or lens shade kind of thing. We will see. That is the way that the lens looks when it is extended. It extends from 75 equal equal to 75 millimeter uh, to 300 millimeter in uh, in the normal uh, old style films that you see. And uh, we will see if it works on my Canon EOS 100D. Okay, this is my Canon EOS 100D, which is Austro modified. I removed this normal lens and put this one on it. And that's the way the photograph looks at the 75 millimeter zoom. The minimum. And the same scene at the 300 millimeter. millimeter. This is the, how the scene looks at the 75mm and this is how it looks at the 300mm. As you can see it is now using flash, it put it on automatic and it went on the flash. So you see a little bit the exaggerated colors. Uh, and of course this is a Astro modified camera. As the will suggest so the infrared filter is removed of course this is the same scene with the flash disabled so so far so good the camera works really good at least in the daylight I will try it on the night subject I want to have the vast expanse of the 
Orion Nebula and uh, Sword of the um, Orion and uh, three stars of the belt. To show you the difference the zoom makes, uh, I've taken this shot. At the bottom of the image, the lower part, you see a tiny bottle or bottle, kind of plastic bottle. Uh, and now in the next shot, I'll show you that bottle again. Okay, this is the 75 millimeter uh, zoom, the lowest for this camera. In the next one, you see the 300 millimeter. As you can see, I've zoomed on 300 millimeter on the bottle, and you can see the bottle is a bottle of milk, milk bottle, and brambles and uh, private or privy, private, sorry, private, private, the plant that anyway. The silkworm likes to eat, and is evergreen. And uh, you see that the zoom. I go back again to show you. The bottle is at the lower part, and I go now to the back to the zoom. That is 300. You can see that. I've changed the lens to a 24 millimeter, this relatively wide angle lens. It's not. A um, original, it's a Sigma, it's not original, so I have to use a, a Canon adapter to attach a T adapter and it doesn't work with the f um, autofocus. So I'm just going to take a picture, focus it, and show you. This is a wide angle. Can you see the bottle? It's near the junction of the grass and the soil and the trees. I will try to zoom in it by digitally zooming. Okay, it, it is there, you can see it there blue cap with the thing. You can see in the tiny uh, square here, uh, the tiny square in the middle of that biggest square is the amount of the zoom that it shows, the amount of the area that I've zoomed in. And the bigger grayish uh, uh, square rectangle shows that how much wide was the original picture. I'll go back again, let you see. So that is the original picture again with the 24 millimeter lens. So this lens is really good. This gives me a chance. It's practically like a telescope. Gives me a chance to uh, use a wide angle lens, uh, sorry, zoom lens at the same time more wide angle than any telescope that I have. This is equal to, uh, let me tell you, uh, this is practically equal to 5.6 F number f ratio so quite wide angle and uh, yeah hopefully we will see what what we can do with this lens i will try it in different conditions and different light and uh, show you the result hopefully okay i'm now taking pictures with the canon zoom lens this is with the mobile phone i'm showing you and I have used the Canon just to take the picture. And I think that's actually not bad. So this is the moon that I have now in the viewfinder. And I'm going to press the button. Okay. Okay, that picture. I can zoom now into it. This one is a bit overexposed, I can see. Okay, now I have what I want actually. Okay, this is a 75 millimeter now setting. Uh, I can get a very wide angle view. It's good for deeper sky objects like the nebulas, Orion Nebula, Belt of Orion, the Barnard Loop, and such things. So I'm really happy with this. I'm, I will use the lens for this. If it is clear tonight, probably take some photos. As you can see, I brought down the aperture setting to 5.6, the F ratio. And I could actually record the uh, earth shine. And you see the branches of trees, of course, in the shadow dark area. 
and the uh, ISO is uh, 400. I have now increased the ISO and you can actually, it's a, ISO 800, you can see the details of Maori uh, in the dark side, in the earth shine. Now ISO is uh, 1600, I'm really pleased with this image, it shows really good details in the uh, earth shine part. These are the areas that the earth is shining on the moon and giving it a lovely glow. And now look, I've done the beautiful, this is 3200 ISO. And you can see lovely details in the dark side of the moon where the earth shine is visible. Uh, here you can see some astrophotographs that I've taken with this camera. The zoom lens gives a really wide angle compared to a telescope. Uh, so please look at the pictures of the M42 that I've taken. These are with different times and different ISO sensitivity. And these are some of the photos I was able to take from the bedroom. I just put a tripod there and uh, took the picture. This is the head of the car. The details are invisible and this is amazing. And um, you can see more details when um, in this video you see it a little bit overexposed. But in the actual photograph they are really nice and visible. Beautiful, beautiful comment, <laughs> just from the window of my bedroom, of our bedroom. 6,000 years later, probably we will see this again. And this is the comment again from um, ISO, a little bit different, and the exposure, one second. And a little bit more structure in the t in the head and uh, some parts of the tail